Just make it happen. <laughs> Words like the sky is the limit. You can have anything you want, you just have to keep pressing on. You say, the door's closed, what do I do? I'm gonna give up. If I was you, I'd find another way in. A window, basement, chimney. If you're not putting the work, it's just a daydream. That's all it's going to be. If you lie in your bed and you say, oh, I've got a vision. Good morning, everybody. And, and what Nathan has just said is exactly what happened. I, I got collared one day in, in the lift. I hadn't a clue what was going to happen. I didn't know who this chap was. Um, didn't know what he's going to ask me to do. Um, but as you've all seen this morning, he's a hell of a salesman. So why, what, what's the point of being talked to by the chairman of Barclays? Uh, I'm not going to be the chairman of Barclays. Well, the answer I can tell you is all of you aren't going to be the chairman of Barclays, but one of you could be. Think about that just for a minute. Just think about it. And don't think that you haven't got self-worth. You have enormous self-worth. You're the most important person in your life. And you've got to make yourself the most important person in someone else's life. If I had to describe the Barclays Beyond program in three words, those three words would be inspiring, influential, and most of all, charitable. Today, what can be seen as an endemic is the increasing isolation of our ethnic youth from the UK's mainstream. This isolation is present today in the Bar Revolution, and this is exactly what the Barclays Beyond program alleviates. Um, and if you'd said to me that uh, 35 years later I'd be uh, the Mayor of Lewisham, I'd be speaking to young people here at Barclays headquarters, I would have just kind of said, no, nah, that's not, not really what it's going to be about. I grew up on a council estate quite a long way from here. Uh, Dad was a steel worker, Mum worked in the local shops. You are a credit to our communities and I don't think we tell you that we're proud of you often enough. Uh, but I know, because I've seen you do it over and over again, you are able to dig deep, meet those challenges, and actually go on and achieve the things that you want to achieve. But I realise I don't just want to be an engineer. I grew up in the middle of Tottenham, and I walked away with school f with four GCSEs. I didn't have what was required to go on to do the qualifications you see here. But what I did have was determination. I've got lots of positions of influence. I always say it's not about affluence, it's about influence. It's about how much significance you can create in somebody else's life. The, mo the greatest significance in life is not found through a career, it's not found through the amount of money you make, it's not found through um, how high you achieve, you know, the, the biggest achievement where you've got lots of money coming in or, or the flash car that you're driving. The greatest significance in life is found through service. You're not believing in myself, not achieving, too much PlayStation, watching TV, EastEnders, <laughs> on the phone to my girlfriend for four hours. All right, there we go, good. Now, these are some real things that will stop you from achieving your goal, and you've got to shake them off and say, you know, guys, I can't come out of you today because I'm studying. You know, today I can't, I can't do this because I really want to achieve and I want to become the mayor of Lewisham. Do you understand what I'm saying? Thank you very much. Thank okay. you. You, you. You're at a great time. Have no limits. You know, imagine if you start now what you can achieve in 10 years' time. Associate with like-minded people. Strive towards your dreams. Never allow your dream to become a regret. Be motivated. Aim for 100% because if you fall short by 10, you have how much? But if you only aim for 50, fall short by 10, how much do you have? That's a fail. Stand up. Rise above it. And after three, everyone say reach for the sky. One, two, three. Reach for the sky. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> you know, it's great to see so much of you here. I'm so glad you've taken in the different speakers. The questions you've asked have been amazing. The sky is the limit. You know, as Nathaniel said, reach for the sky. Don't limit yourselves. Don't limit what you can achieve. The biggest hurdle you will ever face is your own mind.